the man, the myth, and the legend, Mr. Jack Daniels. Here in Lynchburg, Tennessee, is where Jack Daniels Distillery is. You can come, walk around, and take a great tour and see the awesome exhibits. First, you must see a movie, a good movie, how Jack Daniels makes the great whiskey. And after that, you go on a trolley. Toot toot! Now, the first Friday of every month, Marvin, what do we get? We bought a jack! With our paycheck. Oh, wow. 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 Pretty good perk. <laughs> what we call that, Marvin? I call it a good Friday. <laughs> Nobody lays out that day. But what could happen, Marvin? I call it a bad Saturday next day. <laughs> oh, they're burning today. That is a treat. Oh, yeah. You'll get some good pictures up there. Nice. Very good. <coughs> but our first stop is the rickyard. That's where we make char go from an open burn. To one of our seven story barrel houses. It's got over 20,000 barrels of whiskey in it. That's over a million gallons. Now, I like Jack Daniels. Some of y'all might. But I'm going to tell you who really likes it. Fat old dog. <laughs> we have to pay them $13.50 for every gallon in that barrel house. If we was to go ahead and bottle that whole barrel house today, We'd have to write them a check between 13 and 14 million dollars. He couldn't get it open because he couldn't remember all the combination. After about the fifth try, he was so upset and mad, he kicked it with his left foot. <clears throat> when he did, he broke the big toe. Wasn't long after that infection set in, they had to amputate his toe. The next operation, they had to take it off at the foot. <clears throat> The next operation, they took it off at the knee. Now, he suffered with this for six years. The last operation he had before he passed away, they took it off at the hip. 61 years old. True story. Now, I try to take something out of a true story to pass along my tour group. The only thing I can think of. Don't come to work early, there's potential for death. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Let's walk right in here. It's never went dry since 1868. <laughs> With three streams of feet. Now I don't know if Jack <coughs> knew why this water was so good, but we know. <laughs> There's no iron in it. Iron is bad for whiskey. It will turn your whiskey a lot black in color and it will affect the taste of it. Our tongue is where the sweet taste buds are, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna talk about the whiskey. I'm gonna pass them out. I want everybody to kind of wait till everybody gets there. You can be nosy. I want you to nose it with your mouth open. Okay? Nose it with your mouth open. <coughs> See what kind of smells you detect. All of our whiskey has a caramel vanilla smell, a little sweet smell to it. You can go ahead and be nosing it with your mouth open, see what you detect. It is great to taste Jack Daniels in Lynchburg, Tennessee. And it's great to meet and to have a picture with Mr. Jack Daniels in Lynchburg, Tennessee. Bye.